I'm super hungry. Well, then go check on Chris. I can't walk anymore. Super hungry. You so then you can't walk anymore. How are you gonna get food? Chris, how long? Go, go see. Don't yell at him. Jeez. Here's a little backstory about um, Japanese curry. The first record of a Japanese person eating curry was 16-year-old Kinjiro Kamakawa, a member of the Aizu Bayakutai Warriors aboard a ship bound for America in 1871. By 1872, curry was introduced to Japan as part of the Western culture and the prohibition on meat eating was lifted to an effort of westernizing Japan. Curry rice became a gourmet dish that very few people could afford. By the Taisho era in 1912, Japanese beef curry featured onions, carrots, and potatoes, and was made in massive quantities to serve the Japanese army to ease nutrition. Today, curry and rice is a national everyday dish made in every household in Japan. The curry in Japan is thicker and milder than its counterparts in Britain and India, and always served with rice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little story about where the curry history began and started. Um, so with that said, I'm going to make a slow cooker version of Japanese curry. A pound and a half of cubed beef, AKA stew meat, or onion either chopped up, sliced, or in cubes. One rusted potato, but I chose to get mini potatoes and I just cut them in small bits and pieces. About three large carrots, medium to large carrots, uh, peeled and then cut. Um, but I'm gonna go the quick, easy way. I got pre-peeled baby carrots. You're gonna need about four cups of water. Forgive me, I don't have uh, measuring cup for four, so I just use the measuring bowl. Slow cooker. And then, oh, most important, 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 important thing you're gonna need is a box of curry roux. So you can get, uh, there's like a couple of different kinds, but it recommends golden curry. This is the best tasting um, out there. You can have any flavor that you want or spice seasoning that you want. It comes in mild, mild, hot, hot or very hot. Um, in this one, I'm gonna use mild and mild hot. Um, it takes a whole package to make this, about eight to 10 servings. And if you notice, every roux package that's been seasoned uh, comes in like a little pre, all, all your flavors and all your seasoning for the curry are in this thing right here. You can smell it. Looks like this. You guys have seen me make it before for um, when I made the chocolate curry. I actually haven't made curry since I made the chocolate curry. It's really, really simple. We're gonna turn the uh, slow cooker on high. You're gonna cook this for two hours at this point. Um, there's a two part way to cook this. You cook it on high for two hours and then uh, you come back, you stir it and then you cook it on um, medium for another four to six hours. You break up the roux blocks. You paste them on the bottom. Remember, it's gonna take a whole box. And they break up into like four pieces. So you put all pieces down there. You take the four cups of water and you pour it. Just pour that in there, this is real simple. You take the meat, which you could get your own and then cut it up yourself, but I was fortunate enough to find the meat already. Carefully put it in over it. This is a little bit over a pound and a half, it's about 1.8 pounds. So, but I like more meat in mine at this point. The water should be covering the meat and the roux. We're gonna take the potatoes. Basically, I have extra potatoes in here, and you just put these in around the meat. Same thing. Potatoes are in. These are really bite-sized ones. I cut them in half and cut them in, in fourths to make them you know, that way there's meat and potato in each one. I'm gonna add a little added ingredient. I'm gonna put some radish in here. Ooh, carrots in there. And I forgot about the onions. Put these in there. 
can either slice them or cube them. Hmm. Okay. And that truly is a quick seven minute prep time for that. From this point, we're just gonna let it cook for two hours. A truly 10 minute prep time to begin your uh, Japanese curry cooking. Now, uh, we're gonna let this cook for two hours, come back, by that time, should be able to stir it up, mix it, and then if you want, we can add uh, broccoli florets in this as well, but I think you do that um, like at the last 30 minutes, so they're not mushy. Um, the carrots, the radish, the orange, or not oranges, the orange carrots, radishes, potatoes, and onions go in with the meat and the roux to make sure that they, they cook thoroughly, um, slowly with it so they're not too mushy or too hard, um, just the right texture when doing this. So again, those that might want to try the Japanese curry, this is a way to do it foolproof without messing it up. Um, and you can add your own ingredients, vegetables in it. You just have to know the textures you want, how firm you want them to be. And then, um, yeah, so see it in two hours and then come back and cook it some more. Slow cooking Japanese curry. It's been two hours. Um, now we have to switch it to low for about three to five hours. I'm going to do four and a half. And then as you do that, if you can tell, I added some um, pepper, salt on top. Uh, we got to stir this. If you can get down to the bottom, that would be good because that's where the roux is at. Curry seasoning in itself. This way we mix the meat and the vegetables up. Now again, the normal way to make this is on the stove top, but in the slow cooker, you don't have to literally sit in front of the stove and cook this for two and a half hours. Um, you can let it cook it by itself. That's the beauty of the slow cooker, um, especially with curry, because, you know, if you've seen the other recipes, um, you have to like saute the onions, brown the meat, then add the potatoes and all that stuff, then add water, then sit there and stir it throughout. But this time, all we gotta do, we just have to stir it one time. Okay. You can see the difference already a little bit. Close it up. And let it go for about four and a half hours. Okay, so we're back. It's almost time to add, like I said earlier, you can add broccoli florets. You can have a fresh head of broccoli. I went to the store to look at some and cutting them, I didn't think they'd be perfect bite size. So I went to Sprouts and I got uh, some pre-cut broccoli florets that are already pre-washed. Um, I'm also gonna add some mushrooms, some Baby Bella mushrooms. Uh, you could do shiitake, whatever type of mushrooms you want. Uh, these are already sliced pre-cut and pre-washed. Again, all the recipes I'm showing you are for quick, uh, quick as possible preparation and cook time. So we've let it cook for about five more hours. We have 30 more minutes left. So we've let it cook an extra uh, four hours and 30 minutes. It says to add the broccoli. And um, at this point, because like I said, as you cook all the other vegetables, they get really, really soft and soggy. So you don't want the broccoli to be super soggy so we throw it in there at the last 30 minutes along with the mushrooms. Um, this is about uh, one cup equals about one serving. There's about four servings in here. Uh, so we'll probably use about half the bag uh, so as not to overwhelm everything else in there. Uh, maybe uh, half a cup of mushrooms because this is about a cup of mushrooms. already it's cooking pretty well oh does this look good it smells great oh my god can you guys see that stir it just a little bit wow 
about half the bag. Put this in there. You know, you need your daily dose of greens. I've never actually had broccoli in my curry, so this will be a first for me. It has a little color to it. The only reason why I added half of the uh, broccoli is because I'm adding a couple other ingredients. Like I added the, the radish to it, the daikon. Um, I'm adding some mushrooms, so I don't have to add as much ingredients as it said because I'm substituting other ingredients into it. Put about a half a cup of that in there. So. <laughs> this is gonna be a really, really hearty vegetable, chicken, not chicken, beef. Now there's several different types of curry you can make. There's uh, with rice, curry over rice. Uh, then there's curry udon, which is really my favorite way to eat it, uh, which is a really thick noodle. And then they have something called curry bread. Uh, basically, you take the curry, stuff it in something covered with panko bread, bread crumbs, and then I guess you fry it or something. I've never made that, but that might be something I want to try. But typically, uh, curry is a dish served over rice. Um, I prefer it over udon, like I said. Maybe if you've never seen udon, I I have it ready. A little secret thing in there. Um, uh, it's a really, really thick white noodle. I don't know if you can really see this. This is one serving of a pack. Uh, pack of you basically warm it up in hot water. They get a little thick, thicker. Then you pour the lid on over. Oh, let me cover this up for another 30 minutes. We'll come back to that. But um, yeah, I, 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 I like rice, but I don't always have time to cook it. I found a quick cheating way for rice. Get it up in the microwave. They have several different versions of this. This has become very, very popular. Um, two minutes in the microwave for this. Put the curry on top. Quick lunch uh, on the go. Or cook this for about three minutes. Put the curry on top of that. It's all the go, but the hard work is being done by the slow cooker and 28 more minutes, we'll be able to make a bowl and see how it tastes. So, 30 minutes, I'll see you later. Okay, uh, time's up. Uh, the great thing about the slow cooker is if you overcook it, which you can't overcook it, it automatically turns it off and it just puts it in the keep warm mode because Apparently I'm seven minutes late. I was listening for a timer, but it didn't go off, but it's because I just wasn't paying attention. But here we are. Oh. It smells really good. Oh man. Got just the perfect. Okay. So Smells like fresh broccoli. It'll probably taste better tomorrow, but we're gonna do this while it's hot. Brush it over there. Oh, hot, hot. Ooh. Probably should let it sit a little bit, but. Done with the curry, it's gonna sit. Um, typically, curry, if you let it sit, it gets thicker, so it might taste better uh, tomorrow or later, and you just warm it up. But uh, I got enough in there to do, I don't know, Tupperware doesn't stick. This is what happens when you buy Tupperware from the 99 cent store. The tops warp when you, they twist when you uh, wash them in the dishwasher, and then they no longer fit normal, so. And we're off.